Sometimes it is not possible to eliminate a variable by simply adding or subtracting the equations. When this is the case, you need to multiply one or both equations by a non-zero number in order to create a common coefficient before adding or subtracting the equations. Let's take a look at a system where this is necessary. We have the system 3x plus 4y equals negative 10 and 5x minus 2y equals 18. We can see that we don't currently have the same coefficients or opposite coefficients, but we can see that the y variable would be the easiest variable to eliminate because 4 is a common coefficient of negative 2. We know that 2 times 2 is 4, so negative 2 times 2 would be negative 4, right? It's more in common than the, variab the variables x coefficients of 3 and 5 have. So we can multiply the second equation by 2 so that the coefficients are opposites. That's here. We have 2 times 5x, 2 times negative 2y, and 2 times 18. That would give us 10x minus 4y equals 36. And now once we multiply 2, and we can multiply everything by 2 since we're doing it to everything in the equation. We're not changing the value of the equation. We're just changing how it looks. It's the same equation, just written in a different way. But it's written in a different way to our advantage because now the y coefficients are opposites. We have a positive 4y and a negative 4y, so now we can solve by adding the equations. 3x plus 10x is 13x, and 4y plus negative 4y eliminates to 0y. And then we have negative 10 plus 36 gives us 26, and dividing both sides by 13, we get x equals 2. Now we can continue on with elimination by solving for y using the value of x equals 2 to substitute into one of the equations. So we'll randomly pick the equation 3x plus 4y equals negative 10, substitute in that x equals 2, so 3 times 2 is 6, subtracting 6 from both sides, 4y equals negative 16, and dividing both sides by 4, we get x equals 2, then y equals negative 4. Putting them together, we get that 2, negative 4 is the solution. And when we check that solution in both equations, we get true statements. So that's check that that is our solution. In the previous example, the y variable was eliminated by finding a common coefficient of 4. But creating a common coefficient of 4 required one additional step. We had to multiply the second equation by 2. Because if you see in this system, we already had a 4y, so we would only have to multiply that second equation by a number to get the negative 4y. But even though we chose that variable y, even though this only requires one additional step, we could have very easily eliminated the x variable. Either variable can be eliminated when solving a system of equations as long as the common coefficient is utilized. So now let's just see what would happen if we solve that same system by eliminating the x variable instead if we took a look at 3x and 5x. Now think we want to create opposite coefficients. So we might have to perform more multiplication, but how can we create those opposite terms? Well, we can multiply the first equation by 5, so 3x plus 4y equals negative 10 by 5, and then the second equation by 3. Think, we're multiplying the opposite equations by the opposite coefficients. So that will give us 15x plus 20y equals negative 50, and 15x minus 6y equals 54. So now we actually have the same coefficients of 15x and 15x. So we can now subtract the two equations. We could multiply one equation by negative 1, or we also could have multiplied one equation by a negative 5 or a negative 3 to create opposites. Here we actually created the same coefficient, but just to model, we could subtract the equations. So now, no matter what, the x variable is eliminating. 15x minus 15x is 0x. It disappears. 20y minus negative 6y is really 20y plus 6y, so that's 26y. And negative 50 minus 54 is negative 104. Dividing both sides by 26, we get that y equals negative 4. And now, 
this process is the same as elimination as substitution. Now we have to solve for the other variable. So we'll substitute in the one we just found, y equals negative 4, into one of the equations. We're randomly choosing the equation 3x plus 4y equals negative 10. Notice we're also choosing an original equation because what if you made a mistake when multiplying? It's just best to choose an original equation with elimination. So we're using 3x plus 4y equals negative 10. Substituting in y equals negative 4, we get 3x plus 4 times negative 4 is negative 16 equals negative 10. We'll add 16 to both sides and divide by 3 and get that x equals 2. So 2, negative 4 is the solution, and think that's what we got before. We get the same solution whether we eliminate the x variable or the y variable. No matter what order, no matter how many steps you take, you still get the same solution. And when you substitute and do your check, we still get those true statements. So we've confirmed it is the solution no matter which approach to elimination you choose, no matter which variable you choose. It's just eliminating the x's, you had to multiply both equations and subtract versus eliminating the y variable, you only had to multiply one equation and you can add. So it's really what's going to be quickest and easiest for you as the solver of the problem. So now let's put that reasoning to the test. Here we have three different system of equations. And if we're solving using elimination, which variable would you choose to eliminate? And once you make that decision, think about what do you need to multiply each equation by to achieve that goal. Let's look at the first system and talk about different strategies of which variable you would eliminate and how, because there really is no right or wrong answer because we've discussed you can eliminate either variable by using multiplication, but there usually is a variable that's a little bit quicker or a little bit easier. So in the first system, we have 4x plus 10y equals negative 2 and x plus 2y equals 0. So when looking at this, the thing that jumps out at me when I'm reading this system is that the x, well first, we don't have the same coefficients and we don't have opposite coefficients. So we're definitely going to have to create them using multiplication. We can't just automatically add or subtract. But the thing that stands out to me is that the x variable in the second equation has a positive 1 coefficient. So multiplying it to get an opposite coefficient of the other coefficient of x will be very easy. We can multiply 1 by anything to turn it into the opposite of that coefficient. So we should look in and hone in on the x variable. Now the y variables have 10 and 2y, which 2 does have a factor that multiplies into to 10. 10 is a multiple of 2, but it's just a little bit nicer when you have that coefficient of 1 because I can see, well, if I'm eliminating the x variable and I have a positive 4 coefficient, let me just multiply by the opposite of positive 4. We would multiply the entire second equation by negative 4. That would keep the first equation the same, but then the second equation would become negative 4x minus 8y equals 0. And you have your opposite coefficients to easily add together and eliminate. So looking for a positive 1 coefficient is one sign to eliminate that variable, and then you can do it by just multiplying the equation by the opposite of the other coefficient of the variable. Now let's look at the second system. We have 3x plus 8y equals 81 and 10x minus 12y equals negative 78. So here, this system, we don't have the same coefficients. We have a 3 and a 10 and an 8 and a negative 12. So we don't have the same coefficient. We don't have opposite coefficients. We don't have a coefficient of 1. So let's look at the actual coefficients themselves. We have a 3 and a 10 and an 8 and a negative 12. The first thing that's jumping out to me is that the variable y coefficients are already opposites. So it's going to create a nice way to add the equations without having to multiply by a negative number or having to subtract. So if I can zone in on 8y and negative 12y, then I can eliminate the y variables by adding the equations after I multiply by something. Well, I can't multiply 
by just one something because 8 doesn't multiply to 12 and 12 doesn't multiply to 8. I'm going to have to multiply both equations, but I can multiply. I can think what is the least common multiple of 8 and 12? You should think of 24. So how would we create 24 and then negative 24? Well, we already have the opposite signs. So we can multiply the first equation to get 8 to 24 by multiplying by 3. 8 times 3 is 24. And we can multiply the second equation by 2 because negative 12 times 2 is negative 24. So you're not multiplying as high of numbers as if you would multiply to get rid of the variable of x when you multiply by 3 and 10. Maybe that's a little bit easier for you. Again, this is really an opinion question at this point. This system actually is, you could really eliminate either, but I'm still going with the advice since the y variables had the opposite signs and 8 and 12 have a least common factor. So let's go with 3 and 2. So that will give us 9x plus 24y equals 243. And multiplying the second equation by 2 gives us 20x minus 24y equals negative 156. So when we add these equations, now we have the opposite signs or the opposite coefficients for y and the y variable eliminates. So that system really is a little bit more messy for elimination just because you have to multiply both equations no matter which coefficients you're looking at. But my advice is go with the coefficients that have the opposite signs. It's really best to add your equations because subtracting them can be tricky when you have to subtract negatives. Let's look at the last system. Ooh, let's move into that one. So we have 3x plus 6y equals 6 and 8x minus 12y equals 16. So right away we see we don't have opposite coefficients or the same coefficients right away, but we do have the y variable again has positive and negative coefficients. We have opposite symbols, signs, and we have 6 and 12. Think of 6 and 12. 12 is actually a multiple of 6. So we can just create a positive 12 with that first equation and you'd have opposites. We can multiply to do that multiply the first equation by 2. That gives us 6x plus 12y equals 12. And then the second equation will stay exactly the same, 8x minus 12y equals 16. And we have those opposite terms with the y variable. So that system, it was very easy and clear to see which variable to eliminate and how you only had to multiply once. So sometimes you have to multiply once, sometimes you have to multiply twice, sometimes it could be the x variable or the y variable. It really is just which system you're looking at and how are you going to achieve those opposite or same coefficients to perform the elimination.